welcome back to the channel. I'm pissing soft people off, and today we're going to be talking about Jared Lysick's website. I actually got the name right, too. I said Lysick. See, I know how to say it. Lysick. It's what he does and who he is. So, I know how to say it. I just screw it up sometime. But you can keep, you can keep correcting me in the comments and make fun of me for messing up the word correct or whatever you want. But anyway, let's go ahead and get on into this story. Let's check out his new website now that he has got rid of all of his personal information and change it to just the business website. And I call it a business because I do believe that he makes quite a bit of money off this stuff. Even though in this Q&A that we're about to look at, he definitely does not admit it. He, he skates all around it. But I think that if we read in between the lines, you're going to see that, well, I believe he gets plenty of money from uh, the donations and all the money that comes in to him. So let's check that out now. All right, as you can see here, we're on the Adventures with Purpose page. This is the Frequently Asked Questions. We're going to go ahead and get started. Donations. When I make a donation, who gets the money and what is it used for? 100% of donations are used and have always been used to cover expenses of food, fuel, travel, breakdowns, new equipment, vehicles, trailers, and payroll for those traveling nationally with AWP under an employee agreement. Jared Lysick nor any of his family members have ever received any payroll payments from any donations made to AWP. Okay, so what he's basically saying, and I'm not saying that he's lying, I believe that he probably is telling the truth. He has never received a payroll payment from AWP. That means a cut check on a weekly basis. I agree, he probably hasn't. But that doesn't mean he hasn't received money from AWP or he doesn't benefit from all the AWP money. We'll go on and continue to read, but we'll talk more about that later. But let's just check into some more of these questions real quick. I heard a rumor that Jared pockets all donations and is super greedy. We've heard this rumor for years. The facts are the donations have never been large enough to cover all expenses of AWP. They fall short of covering food, fuel, travel, and payroll for those with AWP employment agreements. Jared and his wife have multiple income streams to subsidize the additional costs of AWP which includes, but is not limited to, gear purchases, RVs, trailers, payroll, editors, in-house support staff, merchandising, keeping the vehicles in working order, and etc. AW AWP would crumble if Jared and his wife were not subsidizing for additional funds necessary and appreciate those who donate by helping with the financial burden to help find the lost loved ones free of charge for the families and law enforcement. So let's take a quicker look at that, kind of going back with the first question and answer that he had given. He doesn't receive anything from payroll, but as it says right here, he subsidizes the additional cost of AWP, which includes, but is not limited to. So that means he subsidizes. He makes money off of gear purchases, RVs and trailer purchases, payroll, editors, in-house support staff, merchandising, keeping vehicles running in working order, all those things. Who's running around and doing all these things? Most likely, I'm going to guess it's probably Jared and or the employees, but the employees are going to be paid through the payroll service, and it says that he subsidizes his income through things like that, which actually does come from AWP. may not be considered payroll because it's not a weekly gig, but that doesn't mean he can't take commission or take money out anytime he wants to further AWP's cause, which is his company, so it would further his cause as well. Just like, what kind of car do you think he's driving? Do you think the vehicles he's driving on his daily, day-to-day -day life didn't come from AWP? Do you think that the maintenance that gets done on those isn't from the AWP? No, I highly doubt that they are. I have no proof otherwise, but after looking at the video yesterday about the stuff he pulled back in 01, stealing over $200,000, link to the other video, after stealing $200,000 from people who trusted him, his followers, $200,000, which is probably where he got his start for everything else that he did that led up to being AWP. So what it boils down to to me, with everything that we know about him from his past, learning from this and his Q&A, it just seems that he's not a very honest person. It just seems that he really doesn't care about other people as long as his bottom line is met and he gets by. But... That's just my opinion. You guys can have your own opinion. This is a website. You can go through and look at all this stuff yourself. There's all kinds of crazy information. It's just the way these are worded, I don't know. It definitely seems like it's him that's answering these, but in a third person. 
But like I said, the way I see it, as you can see, they subsidize their income doing all this stuff for AWP. So therefore, if they're subsidizing to help with the AWP, then therefore they're getting paid, even if it's not from payroll. It's very easy to use words to get around things. Like I could say, I have my own LLC. I've never taken a payroll check. No, but I'm the LLC owner, so I can take con contributions from the bottom line. I don't really know all the terms, but you get what I'm saying. I can literally go to the bank and just withdraw the money, and I ain't got to say where it went, really. I can just go to the ATM with my business card and pull it out. When it comes to taxes, I'll have to explain that. But, you know, just like him, he could say, oh, well, that was for AWP. Oh, well, I got my oil changed on this car. That's an AWP car, even though he's the one driving it around, taking his kids to school, doing whatever it is he does in his daily life that doesn't have to do with AWP. And well, as you can see here, is AWP a 501c3 nonprofit, and are my donations tax deductible? Well, let's find out. Under the advice of our lawyers and accounting firm, AWP is not a 501c3 because AWP does not receive enough donations to sustain the organization without being subsidized by Jared Lysak and his wife. As such, your donations are non-tax deductible. Well, good news for you. He doesn't have to pay any taxes on that money you gave him for free. Anyway, continuing, it says, because donations do not cover the full expenses of AWP, 100% of your donations are used, and AWP does not pay any taxes on your donations because of business expenses and write-offs on these donations. So, therefore, he doesn't even have to pay taxes, which I'm fine with. I'm all about, you know, the free market. You know, that's a good way to make money. You know, the tax stuff, it, it exists for a reason, for, you know, people to be able to do good things, organizations to be able to thrive in this uh, society and be able to stimulate the economy. So that's what tax breaks are for. So I completely get that. But just the smugness in the way he puts it and just, yeah, well, you know, sucks for you. You don't get no tax deduction, but just so you know, good for me, that type of deal. I don't know, just everything that I've seen, everything I've covered, this is seven videos now, I think. I don't know, you can go back and check, but there's plenty of videos. I've done a lot on Jared Lysick at this point. And just go back through and watch them and just see, not even just my opinion, just what he writes, videos he's made that I've commented on. Just see what kind of person you think he is. Just because you see his AWP videos and he's helping people find their lost relatives or whatever, I'm not saying that's not a good thing. But not all people who do good things are good people. Bad people can also do good things. As a matter of fact, as I've stated before, a lot of times the people doing the most good are people who have done a lot of bad and they're just trying to make up for it to make themselves able to sleep a little easier at night. But that's just my opinion. I don't know. It's my channel. It's my opinion. And apparently you like it. You're here watching it or you're here complaining. You're not even looking at the video anymore. You're down there typing about how stupid I am. That's all fine. I don't care. But I appreciate you all stopping in and I hope to see you on the next one. Hopefully this video is a little bit informational for you or at least entertaining. So, I hope you all have a great day, and I'll catch you on the next one. What the hell are you all still doing here? The video's over. Just start clicking on some shit. It's around here somewhere. There's buttons and likes and all kinds of stuff you can do. I think there's even some more videos. Are they... I don't even know where... I can't see anything. I appreciate you all. Catch you on the next one.